is Dr. Jessica Friedman from MedEdit's Medical Admissions. Today is March 28th, and so much has happened um, around the United States and around the world with regards to COVID-19. And we are here to update all of you with regards to what those develop, how those developments impact current medical students and students who are applying for residency. We understand and we've been getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of emails from our students who are quite stressed about how COVID-19 is going to impact not only their medical education, but their chances of getting a residency. And um, this really is probably the most stressful for current third years who are planning their fourth year schedules, who have planned sub eyes, who planned away rotations or are hoping to plan away rotations, who now are very limited in terms of what they can plan and you know there's a lot of unknown out there now as most of you know at this point many medical schools you know starting with nyu in new york have allowed fourth year medical students to voluntarily graduate from medical school early and join the workforce as interns in internal medicine and emergency medicine primarily so that they can start caring for COVID-19 patients. And we expect that this trend, which you know, from New York moved to Boston, we expect this trend will continue across the country as the COVID-19 pandemic sort of spreads throughout the country. Certainly what we are experiencing here in New York is unprecedented, as all of you know, and what is going on on the front lines is, you know, frankly, very scary. And, you know, many people are working incredibly hard to care for very sick patients to and to, you know, really try to flatten the curve. And so, you know, we thank all of you for doing that as well. Um, now, first and second year students and even potentially students who are starting medical school in the fall, um, you know, all of those classes have shifted to um, online and to remote learning and it's, you know, that will potentially go on. Who knows? Um, it is possible that will go on for who knows weeks or months. And so let's wait and see what happens with that. So the biggest impact that this is having on medical students are on third years, as I mentioned. and. At this point, most medical schools have canceled away rotations for visiting students, okay? Some have done that through September, some have just done that for until June. Um, it is unclear for how long those away rotations will be canceled, but I could see that certainly through the summer when many students are planning on doing away rotations at hospitals and programs where they're really interested in matching, they will no longer have that opportunity, okay? This is also going to impact students who are potentially, let's say, doing very important rotations in specialties that they really haven't had an opportunity to, um, you know, to shine on, uh, you know, as third year as third year medical students. So, you know, things like, you know, ophthalmology, uh, orthopedic surgery, ENT, dermatology. So certainly the most competitive specialties, typically applicants to those specialties are starting those rotations very early in the fourth year. And they're also planning away rotations. And it is unclear at this point when students are going to be allowed back in the clinical arena within the specialties, you know, to which, in which that they are scheduled to rotate, right? So there are certainly students that are desperately needed um, in, you know, in emergency medicine, in internal medicine, caring for in-hospital patients um, who are suffering from COVID. Um, as you all know, elective surgeries at this point have been canceled. So even if you were to get, let's say, that ENT rotation, all elective procedures have been canceled. So you know the exposure you're going to get is maybe not going to be as great or definitely will not be as great as it would have been under normal circumstances. So I, I think what is important to remember since your access to attendings who will write you letters of reference and your access to actual clinical experiences and the specialty to which you are applying may be more limited. I think what is most important to understand here is everybody is in the same boat, okay? So all applicants next year are potentially going to have much less clinical exposure in the specialty to which they are applying. They are gonna have potentially not as many letters of reference from special, specialists um, in the specialty to which they are applying. So residency programs are going to have to potentially modify 
um, how they review applicants. Um, and, and that will happen. And this is something obviously residency directors at this time are not thinking about because there's just way too much right now that um, everyone else you know, needs to be thinking about. And obviously the most immediate concern for all medical professionals right now, even those in academics is caring for patients and figuring out how we are going to get through this pandemic um, with the least numbers of fit fatalities and offering the best absolute care to those patients um, who will be sick. So don't be offended and don't be surprised if you know you write to your mentor, you write to an attending who previously seemed so interested in your candidacy and in your success, if they don't write back or if they don't seem that enthusiastic, right? Physicians right now are super stressed and they are concerned about taking care of their patients, about take care, taking care of themselves, about taking care of their families. And um, you know, so you may see that your attendings may not be as enthusiastic as, you know, as, as they were previously with regards to taking care of you. Um, you know, so don't be offended by that. Um, this is a pandemic um, that is, you know, there are unprecedented things happening, um, there are unprecedented decisions being made, and um, we anticipate that the same thing is going to happen when it comes time to applying for residencies, um, you know, and what those unprecedented changes in the process will be. We don't know what those are yet, um, but certainly we are staying up to date on everything with regards to medical school admissions, medical education, residencies, um, and residency training. So please stay tuned, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, so, you know, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and also go to our um, COVID-19 page where we plan on posting updates regularly as they happen. Um, you know, so you can certainly go to that page as well, which we will link below. So for right now, everyone just sit tight, stay positive, realize you're not in this alone, and please let us know what we can do to help you. How can we be the absolute best resource for you to help you through this very, very difficult time? Um, feel free to email me directly, jfriedmanmd at mededits.com. Um, I would be happy to hear from you with regards to what ideas you have about how we can further support you and help you. Um, so everyone, please social distance and um, stay healthy and take care.